Hey everybody, we thought uh, today it was a bliss, blustery day outside and we're not traveling until tomorrow on the boat, but we thought today would be a good day to maybe give you a tour of the boat. My cousin Robin suggested that. And so that's what we'll do today. We'll tour the boat for you. We are sitting in what I would call kind of our sunroom. It, uh, this is all Isenglassed in, so it allows us to uh, sit back here if we're anchoring out. We don't have access to a marina or anything to get off the boat. We can set up our chairs and sit out here. It's also where we keep a lot of the supplies for the, um, for the outside of the boat. Extra ropes, when our cords aren't being used and our hose isn't being used, it all goes in this, uh, in this uh, uh, box here. Um, and so this area is used a lot, mostly just as a utility room for us. And if we go upstairs here, we get to the pilot station, and this is where we spend a lot of our time when we're underway. Obviously the captain uh, captains the boat from here. Uh, the co-captain uh, normally sits here and helps out at times. And this comfortably seats four, but in our case it's the two of us plus Sophie who uses this couch. Uh, a lot for uh, uh, for hanging out with us when we're underway. This boat's equipped for the loop pretty well. It's got a chart plotter along with radar and GPS. It has depth, uh, depth finder, which is really important because several of the places we go have um, depth issues in terms of we have to be kind of careful where we go. This boat draws a little under four feet, so we have to be careful not to get close to that. It uh, has autopilot, uh, obviously a radio. We also have a portable backup radio and all the instrumentation you need in order to operate the boat. In addition, we have an ice maker, which we installed recently, fixed it, re, um, replaced it and installed it. Uh, obviously a sink and everything up here, but that ice maker really cooks and gives us a lot of ice. Um, in addition to that, we keep our Yeti here and a lot of our drinks we keep down here waters and beers and ices and things like that uh, to drink. It's easy to get to and it frees up a lot of the refrigerator space that is uh, at a premium. When Amy shows you the downstairs, you'll see that we have to be uh, judicious with the space we use for uh, refrigeration. So with that, that's kind of the, the uh, inside outside space and now Amy will take you to the uh, to the downstairs. Hey everyone, so this is the, we're gonna go through the interior of the boat, kind of where our uh, living space is inside the boat. The utility kind of area that Dean was talking about, there's entrance to the salon, which is what you call the living area on a boat, um, is down these four stairs. We've kind of got a way to close it off from the outside elements and um, unlock it, so um, follow me. Kind of go down these four stairs. And here you enter the living area. And as you can see in the living area, we have a love seat and our TV. Um, we have uh, a lot of storage up above. Over here we have um, the full couch. And in this couch is a hide -a bed So for anyone that wants to come visit, uh, you're welcome to come stay on our hide -a bed uh, We have um, our table, which is where we kind of eat dinner. It, it folds out. So this is really our living area um, that we spend a lot of time in. Um, not big, but, but it works. So then you take one step and you're in the kitchen. Uh, and in the kitchen we have our amazingly huge fridge. Not, but we, we do okay. And we have our freezer, which again is not huge, but it really does work for us. We're able to uh, keep some supplies in there um, until we can get back to the, the grocery store. Um, up here is uh, my tension rod that holds all of my cups. Um, my sister Mary gave us a lot of these. She helped us uh, really, she gave us a lot of things on this boat that helped us kind of get ready for this trip. Um, and we try to maximize space. So I put this tension rod up and so this is where we kind of keep all of our all of our cups. Here again is the sink and we can double it as a countertop. Obviously coffee pot which is required. Um, 
we have our stove top. Uh, again, we can double it up as a countertop, our microwave, kind of more storage up here. Um, we have our utensil drawer here where we keep all of our utensils, knives, forks, and all of our cooking supplies. And then we have pots and pans and um, our, our candy drawer down here, which in, in Tupperware, which is kind of required. Candy, candy drawers are required. This is our uh, really our food cabinet. It used to have a Lazy Susan in it, but I took that out and replaced it with these uh, plastic bins that I got at Costco, which have been amazing to organize the food and, and uh, really store a lot more food than I would have if I had kept the Lazy Susan. So in here we have snacks and Glenn Levitt. We have our dishes and our uh, some pots and pans. And then Dean scrolls above there, we have our electric griddle and our toaster oven, which are, again, pretty required um, for cooking. Next to those, you'll see these two uh, blue uh, items. Those are chairs that Dave and Judy Crane gave us. Thank you, Dave and Judy. We put those on the front of the boat when we're just chillaxed and they sit up, they, they make a great uh, relaxing space for those. But, but that's kind of showing you where our storage is. And if you scroll down a little bit to that corner, that is our infamous liquor cabinet that we created again with those plastic bins. So you come this way and this is our full bathroom. We have, uh, for our guests, we have obviously a toilet, full shower, which is actually impressive, and a full sink. So um, the shower was kind of a requirement because uh, I didn't want to shower over a toilet, so this was one of my requirements in this boat. If you go through this room, you can actually come out over here into the spare bedroom. The spare bedroom actually is well fitted. It's got a queen size bed that both Dave and Judy um, stayed in when they were helping us with the boat. It's got a TV and a full closet. We're kind of using it as storage now, but people want to come visit. They're welcome to stay here. It's very comfortable. We'll even move the TV off the bed for you. That is our Sunday TV that we hang outside and watch Sunday football on. So, um, this is basically, if you come through here, um, love all the natural light in this room, come through here and with, this is our bedroom. This is called the aft cabin. So our bedroom is in the aft cabin. Again, great sunlight, queen size bed. We have actually a lot of storage space. Open it up here. This is a hanging closet that I put um, those containers from Costco in again and made it more of a dresser which works great. I have my shoes here. We have our TV, so we watch TV at night. And then if you turn around, there is Dean's closet right here with all of his clothes in it um, and uh, his shoes. So it actually, we have a lot more space than you think, than you would think. And then if you come in here, this is our full bathroom. We have a shower, full shower and uh, we keep our laundry in the shower because that helps us save space and walking room in our bedroom, full sink, full toilet. So it's actually a pretty decent size bathroom that we're able to use and, and use pretty comfortably. So get the lights turned off. Basically the inside of our living space and it's, it works for us. We're able to play cards, watch TV. When it's cold, we're able to sit and, um, uh, plan our day and uh, for the next day in the evening and it's just it works really well for us It's much more spacious than you would think on a 37 foot boat uh, Before we close up this part portion of the video I just wanted to send a couple of shout outs to folks that helped uh, outfit the boat um, first uh, Amy mentioned Dave and Judy Crane uh, that helped us with the pads that we sit out on the front of the boat with they also helped on a number of different ways. Dave uh, lent us his father's anchor uh, as a second anchor in case we get into a situation where we need two anchors. Dave also helped us uh, uh, add a couple of the TVs uh, to the to the boat uh, in the staterooms, an update from old, old TVs to these uh, smart TVs. So when anybody comes, they can, they can uh, use the smart TV feature and be able to get uh, the kind of programming they want. 
uh, was a big, big help. And Dave was also very helpful in adding the barbecue and uh, a number of other fixes we had on the boat. Uh, Amy mentioned that uh, Mary helped us with the insulated cups and some other, uh, other things that we are using almost on a daily basis. Uh, her sister Janine also did a wonderful job making these special pillows for us that we have throughout the boat. Um, did a great job there and also some rope bags that we use to keep our extra ropes in. So that was huge. My, uh, my friend Mark Sirio, uh, lifelong friend, he helped uh, me uh, get rid of the big TV that, uh, was, uh, that was behind our TV that we have right there now. Uh, and it freed up the space for a wine cooler. So we have a wine cooler behind that TV. Uh, he also helped uh, with the name in the back of the boat, getting that done, and a number of um, other minor fixes that we had with the, with the boat. So those are just a few of the people that have helped us outfit this boat, and we couldn't have done it without, uh, without all their help. So I wanted to make sure we recognized uh, all the work that others have put in to make our trip as uh, good as it can be.